What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're going to dive into Surreal Textures. Dread Labs. So I got here before me um, three different kinds of uh, textures that I've done for a client and these are uh, from unused proposals. So uh, sadly they didn't, they didn't make the cut for the, the assignment. Uh, anyway, I uh, thought it would be cool uh, to dissect these because they're done in a, in a, they're done in a nice way. Um, which also involves uh, something doing outside of Photoshop if you were into that. Um, but otherwise, we also have some solutions so you don't have to use uh, things outside of Photoshop. Anyway, let's start with the first one. So this picture is actually a close-up of, um, if I'm not mistaken, sprouts uh, that my girlfriend took with a uh, macro lens. Uh, you can buy these lenses for your uh, mobile phone for, I think, around 5 euros or something. Uh, you can get them almost anywhere, but I'll try to put the link up in the description. Uh, to show you what I mean. Anyway, uh, if we double click on the thumbnail of this smart object here, we can actually see that this is even uh, a print screen of an app that my girlfriend used to make these. Um, so now you can see what they actually are. Uh, I think they're, it's just letters or something, maybe. Anyway, um, so the first thing to make this kind of surreal is um, the, that's the layer that I've done in here. I duplicated this and then I inverted it. Uh, which I did by pressing Command I or Control I on uh, Windows, um, and then putting the blend mode uh, to color, um, you can get these blue kind of sprouts already. Um, but I highly encourage you to uh, experiment with these and see if you can find any cool uh, stuff in there. Because, for example, difference uh, the difference blend mode in here uh, also gets some crazy results. Anyway, uh, then I applied a U saturation layer. So yeah, on the master, I increased the saturation uh, by almost 40, and then I played around with saturation until I got the color that I wanted, um, which is, in this case, uh, something along the lines of violet. So um, that's the smart object that we have here. And then I have another curves layer in here, uh, and I basically inverted uh, all the white to, uh, like all dark parts are uh, turned to white. So if I put this back down, can start seeing that there's only one color visible uh, but by making this curve into like this uh, u-shape uh, some greens are starting to pop up and as you can see there isn't anything played with my uh, individual channels only the RGB one here and uh, as a final touch I put some noise on this uh, texture as well to get it uh, extra crispy Okay, on to the next one. Uh, so this is just an image uh, that I picked up from uh, unsplash.com, which is a uh, stock photo website where you can uh, download free stock photos. I'll put a link up in the description. Um, anyway, uh, if we dive into this smart object, uh, I haven't cleaned this smart object very well, um, but no worries about that. Um, so this is the original picture uh, of some leaves. Uh, and then I did the same thing here. I duplicated it and I inverted it by pressing command I. So let me show you. Uh, so I'm uh, pressing Command J or Control J on keyboard, uh, which will duplicate my layer. And then by pressing Command I, I will invert the layer. And putting the blend mode to color will result in the leaves being purple. And here uh, I played around with a bit of more complicated uh, use saturation settings. So as you can see on the master, I didn't do anything. Uh, but if you click down here, I think I started uh, experimenting with the greens and for example, all the green in the picture, which is a lot, of, obviously, because there are leaves. Uh, I changed the U around. I did the same for the cyans, the blues, and the magentas. Um, and for the magentas, I decreased the saturation because they were just a little bit too vivid for me. And then it started to look a bit uh, deep fried, which I don't like. Uh, anyway, uh, here's the result for you. Uh, so yeah, basically, I suggest that you uh, play around with these... Uh, these individual uh, use saturation settings uh, until you get something surreal. Um, mainly uh, what I do is play around the green, science, blues, magentas. So yeah, um, and I like the result uh, being a little bit blue, purple-ish. Um, so yeah, um, just play around until you get something along the lines of that. And I finish this off with a gradient map uh, with a blue, cyan, and almost mint-like color. And I put that blend mode to difference because as you can see, it gets really blue if you just leave it on normal. But with the difference, you get some really uh, weird colors. So yeah, this is another one where I just experiment with the colors and see uh, and was checking with the results. So yeah, and the last one, 
it's not a screenshot. Uh, I think this is some kind of fiber uh, that my girlfriend uh, captured with a macro photography lens, uh, which is also the same one uh, that she used on the sprouts. Um, and here I just experiment with a use situation filter. So the same thing as before, uh, go to the individual values and change them around until you get something really weird and something that you like. Uh, but as you can see, uh, the results here are starting to look a bit crispy and the quality of this image is really starting to get low. Um, but yeah, no worries about that because uh, I just added a Gaussian blur and a noise filter. Uh, to make it crispy but also uh, not blocky like uh, like you saw in the individual uh, picture and then I tried to play around with some contrasts uh, which yeah just made it more vividly basically um, yeah anyway um, so this wasn't really a tutorial um, it was more of a uh, way to experiment with color and try to get some surreal results um, so uh, thank you for watching, uh, if you have any suggestions for new videos please let me know in the comments below or join us on Discord and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!